self-discipline tips, anyone? If you want to learn how to develop a sense of follow through and a sense of having more control over your life without feeling like that is a struggle, then stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to be revealing three secrets that will help you avoid failure and start moving forward with more focus and more follow through. The first secret that I'm going to go over to help you develop more self-discipline and avoid failure is to know that in order to move forward in life, you don't have to tap into your own discipline and your own willpower. You also do not have to rely on your own motivation. And if you've been trying to do that, you may notice that you find yourself feeling burnt out or frustrated or wasting a lot of energy. And then the second secret that I'm going to go over is learning to develop a sense of control over your day. One way that you can start to avoid failure and develop more self-discipline is to learn that you do not have to take whatever comes your way during your day. You have more control and more power than you think. And the third secret to develop more self-discipline and avoid failure is to understand that you do not have to do it all. You can accomplish more in your life faster and easier if you learn the third secret that I'm going to share with you in this video. So if you're ready to learn some tips on how you can learn how to develop more self-discipline, then I want you to grab a pen and a piece of paper because I'm about to give you some priceless information. If you are new to my channel, my name is Yashika and I'm the founder of Yashika's Intuition and I'm here to teach you how to live consciously because I believe that the more that you know yourself, the more that you will then be able to create a vision for your life and work toward that vision so that you create a life for yourself and you're living a life with more meaning and more purpose. The principles that I teach on this channel are the same principles that I use to pull myself out of a very dark place in my life where I lost everything and I had to start all over. I now share these principles with my clients and I share them with you because now I know after going through the darkness and coming out on the other side that it is possible for you to truly live the life of your dreams. Specifically here on my channel, you're going to get a lot of tips and tools and insights into both spiritual principles as well as personal development principles that you don't often hear about in the mainstream, but that successful people understand either consciously or unconsciously and use in order to create success in their life. And I want you to be able to do the same thing. We're going to start off today by talking about some self-discipline tips. However, I have a well, a surprise for you in the description box because I created a PDF guide with even more tips for you to take this information in this video and take those and really push forward on your journey to creating more self-discipline so that you have what you want. So if you want that, be sure to check the description box after this video for more information. And if this is your first time visiting my channel, make sure you leave a little heart in the comment box below because for those of you that are new to me, I like to leave you a little gift to help you on your journey to being your best self. The first secret that I'm going to share with you in order to tap into more self-discipline so that you can avoid failure is to stop relying on your willpower and your motivation in order to accomplish a goal. Before I understood this secret, what I would do is think about a goal that I want to accomplish. And then I would try to dig into all this willpower and try to find all this motivation to help me to move forward on my goal. The problem was scientifically, you can only rely on motivation and willpower for so long before you end up feeling burnt out, stressed out, and like you just don't feel like working toward any of your goals anymore. And that's what was happening to me over and over and over. I would start super strong, ready to take on the world, and then quickly fizzle out and burn out and just feel like I didn't want to do anything but just lay on the couch and watch TV all day. This was terrible because not only would I not accomplish the new things that I previously felt inspired to accomplish, but I would also then not have the energy and the motivation for the things that I needed to get done. And so these things would just pile up <laughs> and to where that would create this vicious cycle of overwhelm, of stress, because I wasn't getting stuff done and things just kept piling up and I wasn't getting stuff done and I was stressed and I didn't feel like doing anything. So I just wanted to sit on a couch longer. 
you get the story. It just was a vicious cycle. And at the end of the day, I was moving backwards rather than forward because by not accomplishing the new things as well as the old things, it meant that I wasn't doing what I previously was able to do. So I wasn't stagnant. I wasn't moving forward and I was actually moving backwards in life by trying to rely on my willpower and my motivation to see things through. The problem also was that I was taught that the only way to get things done was to push and to work hard and to hustle hard. And that is simply not always the case. You're not always going to be running on 10 every day of your life, but that doesn't mean that you can't get your goals accomplished. There is a solution that will allow you to integrate self-discipline steps into your life, self-discipline tips into your life so that you're less likely to fail and then you don't have to rely on this mythical all being willpower and motivation to see you through your goals. What you need to understand is that the key to accomplishing your goals easier or faster is to develop more self-discipline through the tips that I'm going to share with you. And people hear the word discipline or self-discipline and they think that this journey has to be hard, but it doesn't. Self-discipline can be very easy to implement in your life. All you have to do is learn how to, number one, integrate small intervals of focus into your life, small intervals of self-discipline into your life, and those small little bits of self-discipline will help you achieve things easier and faster and stay on track and stay focused as well. When I learned how to implement little bouts of self-discipline into my life, at least initially when I first started off, what happened was that I was able to achieve things easier and faster because I wasn't dissipating my energy and my power in areas that caused me to lose power and focus. So the solution is not about trying to grin it and bear it and just grit your teeth and get through things. The solution is actually about learning how to implement self-discipline because you end up working smarter and not working as hard. Once you learn how to increase your self-discipline through these small little increments of discipline and focus that you implement into your life, what you will find is that they will then become habits. And as they become habits, it makes it automatic for you to be more disciplined. In a few minutes, I'm going to tell you how you can get a guide that'll give you some additional and specific steps that you can use to implement into your life. And these are the top tips that I've used for myself and the top tips that I've used for my clients in order to create more self-discipline in your life. But before I do that, we got to go on to the second secret. So secret number two to developing more self-discipline and avoiding failure is to understand that even though it may feel like things come to you um, in your life every day, it doesn't really mean that you don't have control over your life. You have more control over your life than you think you do. And you also have control over the way that you respond to the things that pop up in your day-to-day -day life. So let's talk about that a little bit. Before I understood this, I was always just kind of letting life happen to me and depending on what cropped up for the day is how I would respond versus me understanding that I had more control than I thought that I had. You know, I, I just, I really didn't understand that life didn't have to be stressful and life didn't have to be chaotic. It could be different. The problem with me was that I didn't understand that you could have control over your life. And I thought that we just had to take whatever was handed to us in life and try to make the best of it. But the actual truth is we have more control than we think that we have. And once we learn how to tap into that, we are able to then dictate some of the events that unfold throughout our day in order to make life seem easier and less stressful and less chaotic. Now, this is going to sound crazy. And if you don't understand initially what I'm saying, you're going to think that this, this is going to be just as hard as developing self-discipline. But what you need to do is learn how to develop a routine and stick with that routine by not veering off a routine and by actually having a routine that number two is aligned with the goals that you want to accomplish. You actually end up 
not wasting energy because you're only spending your time doing things that are in alignment with what you want to see and actualize and materialize and manifest in your life. So for instance, if you know that you want to lose weight, then you end up wasting less time if you have a routine where you eat certain foods and it doesn't have to be a crazy routine, but you eat certain foods, you work out a certain time of day and you you know, do whatever you need to do to lose weight. Think about it. If you were on point and just kept a routine for like two or three things, you end up wasting less time and you actually end up having more time to sit on the couch and watch TV or read a book or chill with your friends because you've already created a system that works for you by creating little pockets of focus on the things that it is that you want to accomplish. When I learned how to integrate a routine into my life that not only, you know, I follow, but also that align with the goals that I wanted to accomplish, things got easier for me. I accomplished things way faster than in the past. It was so easy to stay on track and get stuff done because what I needed to do was listed right in front of me. And as long as I did it, I knew that I was moving in the right direction. So I didn't have to dig into grit. I didn't have to dig into any motivation or self-discipline. I just had to do the things that I listed or wrote down or do my little routine and I was good to go. I could then go on and do whatever I wanted to do after that. But that's not it. I have more for you. So not only do I have the guide that I just told you about that's in the description box, but there's also a lot of other links in the description box for you if you find that you struggle with self-discipline. Um, but I do have one more secret for you before I let you go. This is super important because a lot of people that I help in my private practice do all of the things and wonder why they can't be disciplined. You need to focus and you need to learn that if you want to avoid failure and if you want to accomplish more things in life, you need to understand this self-discipline tip that will help you avoid failure and be more disciplined. And that is stop trying to do all of the things. This is important because before I understood this secret, I always felt like I had to accomplish a bunch of things on my to-do list, or I always had to have a bunch of goals running at the same time. And what that would actually do is make me more stressed out and make me more overwhelmed. Kind of like how I mentioned earlier, I thought you had to kind of go big, push, hustle hard, or else you were going to be a failure. And that simply is not the truth. That's not how things work. The truth was I needed to shift how I looked at things. And I had to understand that in order to accomplish the bigger goals in my life, I actually needed to drill down and focus on the smaller things in life, the smaller things that were going to move the needle in the right direction. I was always overwhelming myself with all of these big grand visions. But once I was able to do that, it actually created more time in my day where I wasn't spending all of my time trying to pour my time and attention to all of these big goals, but I was able to then focus on these small incremental things that were going to help me um, focus and actually finish these things with laser precision and follow through. And at the same time, be able to build in periods of more rest and relaxation in my life. So I felt that I had more balance going forward. To help you understand some of the self-discipline tips that I'm talking about um, and some self-discipline tips that are going to be bonuses that I haven't talked about in this video, I want you to make sure that you look in the description box because there is a guide that's going to give you tips, all the tips you need to really start moving in the right direction immediately if you implement them into your life. So I have a guide that's linked in the description box with my five top tips on how you can learn to develop more self-discipline and it's step-by-step detailed instructions on how you can do this for yourself. And again, these are the exact tips that have helped me change my life, but also allowed me to um, help my clients change their lives as well. So I know it's going to help you change your life too. My clients pay me thousands of dollars to integrate these tips into their life, to help them integrate these tips into their life with the support and accountability you get with private coaching. But these are the same tips that they use, and I'm going to give them to you free in that guide below.
So if you want it, click the link in the description box. It'll take you right to where you can download the guide immediately, but that is not it. I am on a mission going forward in my business to try to help as many people as possible through Yashika's intuition. And so if you know somebody else that is trying to create their hopes and their dreams and they're getting frustrated and feel like they start really hard or, and then they get stuck or they lack the self-discipline to stay on track, then maybe this guide can help them too. So make sure that you share this video with someone you know would be interested in the tips that are in the guide and some of the secrets that I revealed in this video. The number one secret, remember, was to avoid failure and develop more self-discipline. What you need to understand is that you don't need willpower and motivation to accomplish your goals. And if you're using those things, those may be the key factor that is stopping you from accomplishing the things that you want to accomplish. The second secret was learning that you have more control over your life than you think that you do. You don't have to respond to whatever comes up in your day. You can be prepared for about 80 to 90% of your day just by doing that one key thing that I shared with you. And then the third secret that we went over is to not always think that you have to do it all and focus on the big picture and to really, you know, gain more focused and more laser precision by focusing on smaller tasks or one task at a time. And then once you do that, moving on to the next task, because then you are more powerful, you are faster, you're more efficient, you build in more rest time, and that replenishes you and creates balance in your life so that you're able to attack the next goal with more vigor and more power and more passion and more focus. Also, before I let you go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more self-discipline tips on how you can avoid failure and on how you can learn to integrate more self-discipline into your life. I'm going to be doing a series on this topic because I think this is a topic that holds people back the most from having what they want out of life, but it is the easiest to master if you understand key tools and tips available to you. I'll be releasing videos every Thursday around 9 p.m. Central Standard Time. And these videos are guaranteed to help you on your journey to becoming your best self so that you can create the best life ever for yourself. It is possible. Also, make sure you hit the notification button because not only am I going to be releasing this series every Thursday for a few weeks, but I also release videos just whenever I get a while hair up my butt to help you in various other topics of life so that you can create the best life ever and become the best person that you want to be. If you have any questions or have any comments or suggestions, make sure you leave them below so that way when I'm producing more videos and content for you, I know what to provide you, what's going to help you personally on your journey to developing more self-discipline or if you want even more self-discipline tips. Anything that I can help you with, I'm willing to help you, but you got to leave a comment in the box below. And lastly, I did mention the self-discipline guide, but there are some of you are, that are going to watch this and are going to want to just dive in and make a major transformation. And for those of you that are ready for that, I do have my private coaching books open for the springtime. And so if that is something you're interested in, you would like me to help you, to mentor you, to coach you, and to personally hold your hand and help you implement these tips and help you stay on track and um, help you move forward, then private coaching may be right for you. Um, there's a no obligation consultation if that's something that you're interested in. And I also have the link for that in the description box below. If you stay to the end of this video, I want you to leave a heart in the comment box below because I want to send you a special gift for hanging with me and rocking with me through this video. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later.